On August 16, 1881, 2nd Lieutenant George R. Burnett, 1st Sergeant Moses Williams, Private Augustus Wally, along with 13 other Buffalo soldiers from Company I, rode out after 50 Apache warriors. The Indians had attacked a nearby ranch, killing the rancher's wife and three children. The young officer was only one year out of West Point, but the 1st Sergeant had been with the 9th for more than a decade his experience would prove invaluable. For 10 miles, Williams and Burnett maneuvered and directed the fight, forcing the Apaches back. But after four hours of the grueling battle, the tide turned, and Nana's band of Apache raiders finally gained the upper hand. When the order to retreat was given, three soldiers were cut off. Wounded and disoriented, Lieutenant Burnett knew they had little chance. When he called for volunteers, he wasn't surprised when First Sergeant Williams and Private Augustus Wally stepped up. Both men had a reputation for gallant behavior. Now it's obvious that Lieutenant Burnett depended on these two men because he later wrote that both were by his side no matter what the danger. And both were crack shots. Both troopers must have respected that young officer because on the lieutenant's command, Private Augustus Wally jumped up on his horse, raced out under gunfire, and picked up a wounded trooper. Wally put the wounded trooper on his horse, climbed up on back, and then raced back out under fire to the front line, where he picked up his gun, joined the sergeant, and took back up the fight. Together, the two troopers laid down a hail of bullets as the lieutenant took to his horse. Spurring the animal, he went out after the private. The Apaches couldn't believe their luck. Knowing that Buffalo soldiers were led by white commanders, they saw their chance to kill an officer. They concentrated their fire on him. But they couldn't get a well-aimed shot. Williams and Wally were keeping them too busy, at times exposing themselves to enemy fire draw attention to aid an exposed troop. <laughs> Lieutenant Burnett raced back to cover with the wounded troop. The three men continued to fight until all the wounded were brought back. The three men survived the fight without a single wound. The lieutenant's horse, however, wasn't lucky. The animal had taken two hits during the rescue, but still it held on. It seemed as even the ninth's horses followed the regimental motto. We can, we will. <laughs>